hello welcome back this is week six part three uh okay so i hope you enjoyed lesson d we will be doing lesson e in unit eight unit eight lesson e um, but to get us started, I wanted to go over the answers for the vocabulary exercise that we did on page 103. So let's go ahead and open your books to page 103. And let's look at the vocabulary exercise. This was your homework from the last video. So, okay, the first part of the instruction says, find an example in the reading of each prefix and root, okay? And then write it in the chart. So first of all, let's see what examples we could find from the reading. Um, you see number one, I'll just write these on the board. Number one, the prefix was re. And the example was repair. Okay. Um, number two, the prefix was co. Which word did you find with the prefix co? If you said cooperative, that would be correct. Cooperative. You'll see that on, where did it go? In the very last paragraph where it says, however, it's harder to teach people how to be cooperative. Okay. Um, let's see. Number three. The prefix was auto. Which word has the prefix auto? Automotive, right? Automotive is like a well, we will get to the meaning in a second. Let's just get through these, what the words are, okay? Then finally, we had some roots. So, number four, I hope you'll be able to see all of these. Number four is tech. Ooh. Okay, which word did you find with the root being tech? That would be technical. Technical. Okay, number five, the root super. The example from the reading is superb. Superb. That's an interesting one. We'll talk about it in a second. Okay, and finally, number six. Equa. E Q U. Which word? Did we find? 
equality. Ah, equally. Equally. I'm sorry. Equally. Can you see that? Oh, good. It just, just fits. All right. So, um, then the instruction was to look up the meaning of the word, of the word as a whole. Okay. So, So the meaning of the word repair is to fix what is torn or broken. I'm sorry, this is going to be so small. You can probably barely see it, but you can hear me say it. And of course, as always, if you have any questions, um, if you have any questions, you can always contact me, email, WhatsApp, text message, any of it. Okay, so what is the meaning of cooperative? Number two, this one's easy. Working together, right? Someone who is cooperative is good at working with other people. Number three, automotive. Automotive refers to things that are related to cars. Okay, let's give a little more space over there. Great, number four. Technical means specialized knowledge or skills. Right? Technical knowledge. This was in reference to um, Psalm, uh, Psalm's hard skills. Okay? Technical skills a person needs to do a job. All right. Superb. What does superb mean? Excellent or best quality. Uh-huh. Best quality. There we go. Like the highest quality. That um, ice cream that I had from the fancy ice cream shop was superb. It was excellent. Okay? Uh, and number six. Equally means in equal amounts or parts. Okay, so that's the meaning of the word. Now for the more difficult part. Let's look at what is the meaning of each prefix, okay? All right, number one. Prefix re 
If you've got repair, means to fix what is torn or broken, then re means again. It's like you have two broken pieces and you are pairing them again, fixing them again, bringing them back together. I don't know, that makes sense to me. Cooperative. Co means with or together. You might notice co um, at the beginning of many words. It's a very common prefix. So look for that uh, as you are reading English or watching English videos or watching movies, look out for that prefix. Very common. And then finally, auto. Automotive is related to cars, but auto means self. Isn't that interesting? So auto is um, something that like a car is the motive or motor. Um, an automotive is like a motor vehicle that kind of goes by itself. It doesn't need to be on train tracks um, to move. It doesn't need something pulling it along like a horse pulling a cart. It's something that the motor causes it to move on its own. So, self. All right, and then what's the meaning of the root? Um, tech. The meaning of tech is actually skill or art. Um, so that makes sense. Technical means like special skills um, or special knowledge. And um, tech can also mean art. Um, because art is a special skill, kind of. So, okay. Sorry, that's not a better explanation, but... All right, super. Super means over and beyond. Over and above. Like a superhero, there's just regular heroes and then there's superheroes. They're the ones that do way more. They go above and beyond, right? Like Superman. There's people, and then there's Superman. He's like way above and beyond everybody else, okay? And finally, EQU, that um, root word is also really common, and the root actually means equal, okay? All right. So if you have questions, go ahead and take a screenshot of that so that you can zoom in on the picture and take notes and make sure that you have the right answers. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask, okay? Here's your screenshot, ready? Okay, I'm gonna erase it now. All right, so now we'll take just a few minutes to actually um, do our lesson E, which is what we were supposed to talk about anyway. Um, oh, by the way, bonus assignment, if you would like to, 
on page 103. Um, make a video of yourself answering the questions at the bottom of page 103. Okay, just a bonus if you want to. Um, all right, so for lesson E, we will be talking about cover, oh my goodness, cover letters. Cover letters. So what is a cover letter? What information does it include? All right. Um, have you ever written a cover letter? So cover letters, you see on page 104, cover letters are usually, um, usually the thing that you write when you are submitting your resume to apply for a job. Okay, so they usually include um, ah, this is what they include. Cover letters usually include five parts. The sender's address The address of the person to whom you are writing The greeting or salutation the body of the letter and the closing. Okay. Those are the five components of a cover letter. Now, what does that remind you of? Does that remind you of a standard business letter? It, it should, because uh, this is actually a form of the standard business letter. So, um, as you are, as you are reading, as we are reading the example cover letter, um, be looking for and paying attention to these different parts. Okay. Um, all right, so today, most people, you'll see the question at the top of page 104. Today, most people write email cover letters. Why do you think this is true? Um, probably because most business correspondence these days happens over email, right? So, um, Let's go ahead and read this example and then I will give you your homework assignment, okay? So, this is an email cover letter that someone has written. Um, it says, from Esther Yitbarak. Yitbarak. And then it has, S, uh, it has her email address. And then the subject says, teacher's assistant position. And it has the address of the, the person to whom she is writing. And then it says the attachment is resume, Esther Yidbarek. Now here's the body of the letter, 
Well, this is actually the greeting. Dear Mrs. Stevens, now here's the body of the letter. I read your advertisement online for a position as a teacher's assistant. I am very interested in this position and have attached my resume. Now pause here. Everybody say resume. Resume. Okay? We'll talk about that in a second. I have been working as a teacher's assistant at Hilltop Elementary School for three years. In this job, I have taught reading and math to students in small groups. I have also tutored individual students who were having problems with the lessons. I'm very interested in child development and I love working with children. I get along very well with my coworkers and I'm also skilled at dealing with parents. I am planning to move to a new home in your district. I hope you will call me to schedule an interview. My phone number is 773-555-2673. I look Okay, I'm so sorry. I am not sure why my phone keeps interrupting the the recording. So, I'm sorry about that. Let's finish this real quick and then I'll give you your homework assignment. So the email said, I look forward to hearing from you. Sincerely, that's the closing, Esther Yitbarek. And then you see at the bottom, she has attached her resume. And um, you'll see the culture note at the bottom. Let's read that together. Applicants are usually expected to include a resume a written statement of their educational and work experience with their cover letter. So basically, a cover letter is just the, the letter that lets someone know, uh, someone who is hiring for a job, if you are applying for their job, the cover letter tells them, hey, here, this is who I am. This is the basic information of why, what I have done and why I am interested in your job. And here, here's my resume. I hope you will take a look at it and call me back to schedule an interview. All right, that's the basic, basic, basic what a cover letter is. Okay, so your homework is to answer the questions on page 105, okay? and then we will go over them in the next video. All right, thanks so much, ciao.